Hey everybody, um, welcome to another one of my EV360 videos. Uh, right now I'm in a 2017 Chevrolet Bolt, B-O-L-T. This is the uh, 60 kilowatt hour battery, all electric, uh, essentially the first second generation EV on the market. Uh, I've been getting the opportunity to check one out, I'm going to be driving one a little bit later. I figured though I'd just create this 360 video as a way to get familiarized with the interior of it uh, and get my thoughts. As always, I can't edit 360 video, I just don't have the equipment or the software for that. So this is just raw. Um, sorry if the audio is poor or lackluster, um, not much I can do about that. So essentially the car itself, the seats are ultra soft, really soft and plush, um, surprisingly soft. Uh, the car has a very... A BMW i3-ish feel uh, in terms of the front here. There is like a little container, but it's just like this big open spot. Uh, has a huge dash uh, LCD screen here. Uh, compared to the Volt, which is a little bit higher, um, it's nice though. It seems to be good. Uh, I want to give a feel. I'm going to go in and out of the car. I'm going to sit in the back. Um, but for the front, it's actually it's it's really nice. This little rests on the side here. They're high. And they go well just with the, the seat. Uh, it feels, feels really good. Um, here, let's turn it on first. It's sunny out. It was pouring rain earlier. You can see Bolt TV. Um, you see this one's showing 201 kilometers. Is kind of what it's estimating on the current battery. Uh, there was just a large climb on this car. This I think car is rated about 380 kilometers distance. Uh, some people seem to get a lot more than that, some people a little less. Uh, let's see, let's try to navigate the screen here. Uh, seat meters, there's home. Home. I'm not even sure what that does. Oh, this is just your layout, okay. Eco layout, standard layout, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is giving us basic information since last charge. Uh, I guess what type of uh, phone it's, it's linked up to, control Sirius FM, this one's Wi-Fi network connected, has a mobile hotspot, yeah, that's the usual thing now. Uh, climate controls, low, hmm. you know, it's simple, it's nice, just dials and buttons. Uh, there's a sport button, traction control, you turn it off, uh, 12 volt accessory there. With uh, oh, there's a holder beside it, so I would imagine the smartphone. Yep, fits in there. What else we got? Got a power connector here with a little slot. Once again, probably for another uh, smartphone. And by power connector, I meant USB. Uh, well, I don't know if you can see in that, but whoo, that's cool. Little cubby. Yes, cavernous. And is there a little, no, I thought maybe this was a, a dual open, but nope, it's not. All right, man, it's getting hot here. Oh, this, I haven't tried this yet. Okay, that's a mirror. Hey, now if I flip it the other way, it turns on a camera in the back. So let me go back here. So the camera's quite a ways back there. Now, this should have a 360 as well. Hold shift or button to shift. All right, so 360. Um, it does give you a 360. It's kind of blurry. It might be covered in dirt, but it's, it's not a, a super high resolution. I would imagine this is a much higher resolution panel than that's a resolution camera. So it's having to scale it up. I'm going to put it back in park. Uh, okay, let's turn it off. Let me go sit in the back. Alright, so getting in and out. So there's definitely crowding in the back. Um, it's like it, the vehicle comes in. 
It's I'm five foot ten. I'm light, obviously. Both of them. And it's all right. These little headrests are weird. There's definitely more room in a leaf in the back. But the seats are once again ultra plush. Super soft. Man. Um, yeah, that's kind of wild. The rests are good. Yeah, actually, you could, I could probably just sleep like that. It's, it's soft. Hmm. It's pretty good, actually. The space, it's all right. Uh, getting in and out. Oh, there's a huge puddle there. Let's go to the side. There's two USB ports down here. I doubt you can see that because it's underneath here. Oh, what else? That's just meant to the floor. Huh. I believe these come down just like that. Yep. All right, let's go. There's all my camera equipment charging. Uh, there's space underneath here, but it looks like not much. So really, there's more storage space in the Leaf, but probably more or about the same as an i3. Uh, this car seats five compared to the i3, which only seats four. Um, I'm just comparing it to the i3 because that's, for me, physical size is what it's closest to. That back door doesn't want to close due to pressure. Um, yeah, okay, well, that's that's kind of an overview of it, uh, the vehicle itself. Uh, I may do a 360 driving video, we'll see, but I really just want to let people have a look inside this car. So, uh, thanks for watching, look for more EV360 videos. Bye.